one of the best stories about a book would be probably the story of tracking down someone's thesis from the United Kingdom from 1960 that one of our researchers needed here. I think it was in conjunction with working on the Mars rover and that hunt took about six months. It required tracking down the people individually and re securing permission from the family for the author who was elderly for that thesis to be copied before it could be released. And I was really happy that we were able to get a scan of that thesis and put it in the hands of our, our professor on campus. I am Chris Sherritt. I've worked at the MIT libraries for over 25 years. When I walked into the library, there was a card catalog. I'm almost embarrassed to say it. Um, and the online catalogs were just starting. There was no such thing as online journals. People came over to consult paper journals. It was a completely different world. And yet it required some creativity and ingenuity to figure out what people needed and how to find it in an age without laptops, without computers. So you can imagine how great it is now to have that kind of power. The MIT Libraries has long had a practice of comboing up people on the staff that work with the people in these disciplines and by books. So when I provide reference, I learn what they're working on, right? And that informs what I buy. And when I see what I buy and I remember what people are working on, I am able to make those connections. For every book on the shelves here, there's tens of books online. And if you didn't know that, or you didn't know who was buying those, or how we buy them to bring that kind of resource to the MIT community, you might think our information stopped years ago. So a lot of things are not online. Many, many things are. It's our job to help people navigate that. There's, of course, lots of material that MIT has made itself in the archives, but then there's also material that's already been sent off campus to storage, and some of it has been scanned and digitized, but others of it has not been. And I always love it when they ask me to find hard things that they can't find just using the open internet. Those are treasure hunts. It's a lot of detective work, and that's part of what what is great. The search and the journey is its own destination. It's a lot of fun, but if you find the treasure at the end, it's even better. The cost of information and information that is closed behind paywalls is a real factor in free and open information access to everyone, and I think the MIT Libraries is passionate about that. Our staff is passionate about that, and so we're making inroads into the open access movement and being able to tear down some of those walls and work within and without our constraints to bring more information to more people. Well, I have, I, I'm a paper girl. <laughs> kind of have a bias towards print for my own enjoyment. But here at work, I totally rely on things being online because MIT is fast and you have to be able to provide it fast. It's, it's been a wonderful, wonderful career. MIT's been awesome. I can't think of a better place I'd, I'd want to do this. And so, as it happens, I've been here a long time and, and seen a lot. And I still love and have always loved coming to work. What a gift.